Oh yeah, we must drink tea for this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tea in hand. Tea at the ready. Okay. Come, Come on, give me your best hello. Mate. <laughs> All right. Hello, mate. <laughs> Okay, ready? So, on the count of three. One, two, two, three. Hello, Hello mate. mate. No, that's oh, that so bad. That oh my God. Hello there, everyone. I hope you guys are ready for some serious British time right oh, yeah. now because I'm joined by the lovely Patricia and we are going to do the British tag video. Yeah, so, today excited. is a tag day and we also filmed the first date tag. Just had to think about that. Yeah. Over <laughs> on Patricia's channel. So, I think this tag was started by Sammy. So, thank you, Sammy, for tagging us and any other people that tagged us as well we have our tea ready because it's obligatory Did I say <laughs> yeah, that right? yeah obligatory that's the right word to have tea in the video and these are like the hugest cups yeah. of tea oh by the way these like, are like my mouth. it's actually tea. bigger than my head yeah and yeah. they are really huge Look at that. they're like three cups of tea in one I love it for proper tea addicts perfect tea okay so speaking of tea question number one is how many cups of tea do you have a day I probably have about four cups of tea a day um on like bad days it might be five cups of tea no sugar in it i usually drink like pg tips or um tetley as well tetley's a tea. Yeah, yeah 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 but basically english breakfast tea i don't really yeah. drink any other teas um usually okay so here's our debate this is why patricia like gave me that's why knowledge. i gave her that look yeah so i like herbal tea Herbal tea is a thing. It herbal still counts tea as a tea. It's not called herbal count. tea. Herbal tea does. It has to be either Earl Grey or English breakfast tea. To I mean, count. I like Earl Grey and English breakfast, but I like herbal tea more. Okay. Well, you guys can let us know. Yeah. Okay. Let Let us know in the comments. I drink these cups, and I drink two to three of these. So oh, that's I guess a lot that's of tea. Like six to nine. That's actually a lot of <laughs> tea. That is a lot of tea. tea. Favorite part of a roast. This is an easy one. Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire, like, come That's on. It. Hands down. Like, yeah. It's just the best part. And I like, I do like the frozen ones, but I do love a fresh yeah, like Yorkshire juicy, pudding. Uh, have you ever and made potatoes? Oh. When they're like crispy on the outside and nice on the inside. And they've got some like duck fat on the outside. Uh, Have you ever had? Oh, it's so... No, but that did sound good. No, it's actually ridiculously mm. so, so good. Oh, roast potatoes and Yorkshire's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nice. Favorite dunking biscuit? Well, I don't really like dunking because I have yeah, a bit of a thing. I hate when yeah, the bits, the bits, when you drink it Wait, and, and then you can see the biscuit you can like see, floating in the tea. I, uh, I oh, actually oh. cannot bear that. Yeah, like, I would either. rather like take a bite of the biscuit and then pour the tea yeah, in my mouth. mouth. <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. You and then you that. still get that taste of like yeah, the mouth, yeah. the water and the biscuit, but it's in your mouth and you don't need to see the Honestly, bits. Honestly, it's, and that's yeah. the worst thing. I can't drink the tea if I've dunked yeah, yeah, yeah. a biscuit in Me it, either. but I do like a biscuit and I do like malted milk. If you put me near malted milks, like that will be the end. And the thing the is, they're quite, the they're quite a cheap biscuit, but they're delicious. Like yeah. what and are they made of? tea as well. <sighs> Really? Really? No, I don't, I don't like, like, rich I like rich tea. I like McVitie's. Oh, rich, what rich tea from McVitie's? No, it's like the actual the crumbly. digestive. Oh yeah, di oh. digestive. I love a digestive. Oh, digestives. Yeah. They're, they're like healthy. They're, they're good for you. They help your digestion. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I think. I think so. Favorite quintessentially British pastime. I don't know if this is like a British thing. I what like horse it? riding. Does that? Oh, count? that yeah, that is, is that quite like British. That is definitely okay. So very, that is my very, yeah, horse very riding. British. Mine is. I don't really have a really British pastime, but I think walking is a very British thing yeah. to do. And I am dragged a lot by my <laughs> husband to go on walks, countryside walks. Even if it's raining yeah. or like camping, I have a stick as well. Like, Do you? Well, oh. my my father-in-law has a stick, so I use his stick to walk. Yeah, it's Got creepy. It <laughs> What's your favourite word? I have a serendipity, but I don't. I serendipitously use that word, <laughs> but um, bits and bob. Is yeah, that, I say it all the time. Bits and bobs. I, I do say, say bits all and the bobs time. a lot. And it's so weird. Like my followers who are like from the US, they're like, what does that mean? That's so funny when you say that. But really? I always say, yeah, I always oh. say like bits and bobs. So yeah, yeah bits that would and have bobs. to be it. I don't use this word, but I just love the word spiffing. Oh, I, just I love, love that word. Spiffing. Yeah. Oh, it's so spiffing. It's quite a slappable word though. Yeah. Imagine if someone said that to you. I'd be like, what are you talking about? Oh, but like, I just up. love saying yeah, it, yeah, even no. though I don't say it it's in a good real word. Life. It's, it's a just good a good word. word. So, any Cockney rhyming slang? Do you know any? Can I just steal the one oh, you just said? <laughs> No, that's the only one I know. Apples and pears, stairs. Yeah. 
That's, That's all the I one know. everyone knows. Oh, I really? Think, yeah. Okay, this is my favorite question. Favorite sweets. This is easy. Cherry drops. Oh, I love, I love boiled sweets. Like, they're my yeah. favorite, favorite thing. Cherry drops are my favorite. I do like um, Frutella, but yeah. only if it's like strawberry and blackberry. I hate yeah. every other flavor, but yeah. Dib dabs. Did you have dib dab? It was no. like the, it was like a packet, and it had like a lollipop, and you put it in the thing, and you lick yes. it, and then you dip, oh. and you dab. Oh, and also, everyone knows my love for these. It's, it's so, good. so good. It's so good, and it's so addictive. That yeah, I need to always put it down. So, what would your pub be called? So I'm terrible with naming things. Yeah, I think I would just call mine after my dog. You know, like the Hulk. I'd call mine like the Duke. That's a really terrible name. No one. I think <laughs> there's actually a pub called the Duke. That really? sounds like a very pubby name. Does it? The, yeah, of I course. That sounds really bad. What would you call yours? I'm even worse with names, so I'm actually going to call my pub after a pub that is my local pub, which is the, <laughs> the Fox and Hound. Oh yeah. So, I feel like pubs have an hound. Yeah. Who's your number one British person? Right now, it's so hard because there's so many great British people. I'm going to pick an actor. I do yeah. love Idris Elba. But at the moment, Kit, what's his name? Kit, is it Kit Harrington? Kit Harrington, or Jon Snow, as others will oh, know right. him yeah, yeah. from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like, Hamina, that's all I'm gonna <laughs> say. He's like, he's like my number one guy. I don't even watch Game of Thrones. I, I know about you know Jon Snow. Snow. Yeah, Jon yeah. Snow. So oh, yeah. right now, and I know it's very short-sighted, but right now he's like my number one British person. But then I like... It is a really hard question though. It's so there hard. So I would say the Queen, because I really like the, the queen. queen. Oh my God, she's so cute. I, I love the queen. queen. The other day she was photographed like applying her lipstick. Like, she's able to remain very composed despite what's going on. And yeah. I think she's very strong God and powerful. Gotta love Queenie. My person would be Boris Johnson. Yeah. I think because I actually met him once and because everyone kind of knows who he is, you know, like you think that like he doesn't need to introduce himself, yeah. but he just like, instead of saying like, hello, pleasure to meet you or whatever, like yeah. Boris-y kind of something yeah. a mayor would say. Yeah. He was just kind of like, hey, what's up? I'm Boris. Imagine and it was just like, like I'm Boris. Yeah. You can call me B. 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 I'm B. Yeah. I can imagine him doing that. Yeah. Though. That's he's how just so he funny. Is. There's he's like his scruffy hair and he's like is his funny. Hair crazy? Yeah. Oh my God. Really? He's so funny and like, I just have so much respect for him because I think he yeah. just brings a little bit of sass to yeah. London. Yeah, totally. He's a really yeah. good mayor. We said politicians and the monarchy. How <laughs> interesting are we? <laughs> Favourite shop and um, restaurant? Favourite shops? I'm going to go be really sad and be like Space NK. Yeah. Liberty of London. Oh yeah. I love yeah. Liberty of London. Top shop. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I was going to say Topshop as well. Topshop is probably an yeah. iconic brand, yeah. but actually ASOS as well. I love because yeah. I remember when ASOS came out, I was a student at university and it was like, the site was really bad. It was like really cheapy stuff, oh but God. it's a British born brand and it's just grown and grown and grown. And it's going to be so amazing. But then I was going to say I really like like Liverpool Street Market as well. I think it's really yeah. British, like yeah. just to go to a market, like, like, like a, a street, market. Uh, a market. Love. I think that markets yeah. are amazing like, and yeah. so British. What are your favourite restaurants? <sighs> so hard. I love Aqua, which is in Oxford Circus. Mm -hmm. and apparently, that's really good. It's I really think. good. The, I love Vapiano. Yeah. Va oh yeah. Vapiano. Pizza. No, it's, yeah, it's like the pizza pasta place they yeah, make it in yeah. front of you. Where else do I love? Hawksmoor. Hawksmoor's British. Hawksmoor does amazing steak. I've heard it does really like this insane. the most amazing steak and it's yeah. very British. Yeah. Hawksmoor. Restaurants is a hard one. Rest it's, you can't have a favourite restaurant. Depends what kind of mood you're in yeah. with the food yeah. and the yeah, yeah. What British song pops into your head? Oh my gosh. A song just popped into my head and it's Which really bad. You have to ooh, sing. Ah, just a little bit, ooh, ah, <laughs> a little bit more. I don't know what, there's no reason as to why that popped into my head, but literally it just, do you, that's a British yeah. song, isn't it? Spice Girls, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna sing a sing. <sighs> oh, I'm getting excited. If you wanna again. be my lover. You gotta get with my friends. Is that right? Hold on. If you want to be my lover, you've got to get with my friends. Is that the right lyrics? That's is that weird. is that gross? It's gotta like get, maybe really? it's like gotta get on with my friends. Oh. I always say gotta get with my friends. Yeah, but well that sounds gross. Get yeah. with my friends no to be thanks. with me. Like no, I'm not sharing. <laughs> Marmite, no. Yes. Just, just no. Horrid. Absolutely horrid. It smells. It's sticky. It's. Oh no. Love Marmite. Do you? Have you always <laughs> loved Marmite? Always. Like I'd have like 
sandwich when I was younger and it would be like bread, butter, marmite and then on the other one bread, butter, marmite and then you have like one giant butter, marmite, breadness. Awful. I'd rather go for um, cheese and pickles. Ooh. So thank you guys for watching our British tag and we're going to tag some people in the information box below as well. And make sure you go on over to Patricia's channel and subscribe yes, to her and check out our first date tag yep, to find out that. all about dating and what we think of different scenarios. And whether we kiss or not on the first date. Ooh, <laughs> serious. Thank you guys for watching and we're going to cheers with our tea. Cheers. cheers. Bye. <laughs>